Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about one of the most anticipated smartphones of 2025, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. While there's no confirmed release date yet, Samsung has said it's coming early 2025. So, there's still time to get ready and plenty of rumors to dig through. You know, one thing you learn about the smartphone world is just how many leaks and rumors fly around leading up to a big release. And trust me, we've been keeping a close eye on everything that's coming out about the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So let's break down the biggest upgrades we can expect from Samsung's next flagship. Let's start with the big one, the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. Every version of the Galaxy S25 is rumored to have this powerful chip. Now, here's the twist. Some leaks show that the base Galaxy S25 might not be using the chip to its full potential, which has some people worried it won't be as powerful as expected. But the Galaxy State 35 Ultra could be the solution. Leaks suggest the Ultra model will come with 16 GB of RAM, which should give the chip the boost it needs. Plus, it's rumored to have the UFS 4.1 storage, which will make a big difference in performance. And based on Geekbench scores we've seen, the Ultra looks like it'll get as close as possible to that top-tier performance we tested. Now, all this power is going to be crucial for something Samsung's really focusing on this year, AI. AI is going to be at the core of the Galaxy S25 series, and we've already seen some impressive AI features on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. It's not a stretch to think we'll see even more advanced features like Sketch to Image, which could be exclusive to the S25 Ultra. Of the rumors we're hearing is that Bixby might get a major upgrade with generative AI. If this happens, Bixby could compete with top assistants like ChatGPT or Apple's Siri. Of course, the Galaxy S25 will run on One UI 7, which will bring new icons, improved search features, and a smoother overall experience. But the S25 Ultra will likely come with a few extra features to keep it competitive with devices like the Pixel 9 Pro XL and its AI-focused capabilities. Uh, speaking of new features, the S25 Ultra is rumored to be the first Samsung phone with satellite connectivity. This means that if you're in a spot with no signal, you could still make calls or send texts using satellite connections. How cool is that? Another upgrade, seamless updates. No more waiting for your phone to restart during updates. With this feature, updating will be quicker and less disruptive. Now, when it comes to the design, the S25 Ultra will likely look similar to the S24 Ultra, but there will be some subtle changes. For one, it's rumored to have more rounded corners which could make it feel even more comfortable to hold. Another leak suggests that the S25 Ultra might be the thinnest Ultra model yet. Plus, there could be thinner bezels, making that slight increase in screen size even more noticeable. As for colors, the S25 Ultra will probably come in titanium, black, blue, and green. But there might also be exclusive titanium versions in colors like jade, blue slash black, and pink. With all that power, the S25 Ultra is going to be amazing for gaming. Plus, uh, Samsung is adding a new feature called Game Assist, which will upscale games that are normally locked to 60Hz and push them to 120Hz, giving you smoother graphics and a better overall experience. Don't forget, Game Booster will also be there, prioritizing GPU performance for an even better gaming experience. I know some people feel like smartphones don't evolve as fast as they used to, but the S25 Ultra seems like it'll bring some pretty major improvements. Features like rounded edges, satellite connectivity, and smoother gameplay will make a noticeable difference in everyday use. With all these rumors, it's clear the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be Samsung's best flagship yet. But will it be enough to make you upgrade from the S24 Ultra? Only time will tell. But if these leaks turn out to be true, I think most of us won't regret the decision. That's it for today's video. 
Let me know in the comments, are you excited about this 25 Ultra? Or are you waiting for more info before making the jump? Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more updates. I'll see you in the next one.